Hi, I'm Dr. Andre Nozick, PhD. Welcome to this week's Therapy Flats. Today, we are going to be chronicling the relationship troubles of this man. Hi! To tell us. Why don't we get started? So, Catullus, why are you here today? It has to do with this girl, Lesbia. Can I expand on that? Well, it all started when I was at a party, and I saw this hot chick across the room. And I was like, whoa, I can't see anymore. And I was sweating, and it felt like I was burning. And then I fainted, I think, because I was so attracted to her. It was quite amazing. Wow. Truly enlightening. So, how did the relationship progress from that point? Well, like every couple, we had our hiccups. Like, she was married. The whole town knew about us and disapproved. Just minor things. But, you know, we made through because I am an amazing partner. And I love her more than anyone in the world. How did you express these feelings? Well, a lot of poetry, actually. Um, I think I might publish it one day. I don't know. Uh, but um, I also asked her a lot for a lot of kisses. Um, 3,300 at one point. I got you a bear to symbolize my love for you. I didn't come here for the bear. Give me a thousand kisses! That wasn't a lot to ask, but you know. But that's when, that's when that thing started to deteriorate. She didn't seem as proactive in our relationship as I wanted her to be. Would you like to elaborate on the deterioration of the relationship? It started slowly. Um, she became more distant. Like I said, she stopped giving me kisses all over. Um, the romantics really just slowed down. And then, she, I thought she, she started to change. You know, come back! And I don't know what it was, but it, it set me off. It wasn't good from that point on. I just, just deteriorated, I guess. Deeply sad. Yeah. Stop giving me kisses. No more kisses. Whose fault do you think that was? Her. Obviously. I mean, I held it my part of the deal. But she bursting the loins of 300 men simultaneously at the same time. I mean, I can't deal with that, man. You weren't too pushy or over eager? Of course not. My love was perfect. Like a father loves his son. <laughs> this has clearly been an emotional breakup for you. It's been tough, tough, not gonna lie. Had my ups and downs, but I got through it, I think. How long has it been since your relationship with Lesbia ended? Have you seen anyone since? It's been uh, about six months. Uh, seen a few girls here and there. I uh, met this chick named Quintia. Adults, uh, like the new haircut. Thanks, uh, I just had to change it up after you know, the whole lesbian incident. Uh, it's been you. a new change. Feel you. Yeah. Whoa. Check out that sweet slice of model compass over there. Uh, yeah. She's, she's alright, but she really doesn't compare to Lesbia. Oh. Really? Yeah. What's that? Just a piece of hair that I just took. Just gotta remember. You're a creep. I just say sentimental. She was alright, I guess, but. Not nearly as charming. She didn't have that spark I looked for in a woman that. But she was that beautiful, right? I mean, other people said so. Not on the same level as lesbia. Not true beauty. You could say that. She's not as energetic, if you know what I mean. I get it. Alright. So your opinion hasn't changed of lesbia, even after the cheating and infidelity. I love her, and I hate her, man, and I don't know why! Have you seen her? Since the breakup? I see her here and there. Uh, yeah, I see her around. I saw her last week with her husband. What an ugly guy he is. Let's just say he's not got the best luck when it comes to genetics. I'm just going to say that. But, uh, you see her on and off. But she sent me mixed messages. Because, you know, when, uh, when I saw her with her husband, she was smack of me. But I told him, you mule, you know that she's smack talking me. That means she still loves me and she's insane for me. Your lovemaking yeah. is mediocre at best. Oh. You, you are so feminine in your loving of women. I wore the pants in this relationship. And you, Catullus, 
You also support Catiline and his theory to overthrow the Republic. You idiot! Just because she's, she's reminding of me, she's not sane. She's still in love with me, loser. So I don't know. I, it's sort of closure. Where are you getting that logic? If she's making fun of you, why do you think that means she loves you? Are you a mule too, man? Obviously, if a girl hates you, you, it means she digs you. Well, frankly, tell us. It sounds like some schoolyard.